30 pins on other. 160 pins. That's a lot of connections. I don't think there's even 10 wires in this thing here. So there will be some serious stuff going inside this. So let's take it apart. So I will begin with these Phillips screws here. Four Phillips screws in it. So I'm going to remove all of them and see what we get. Now the screws are removed. So I still think we need to remove this. Look. Put on the front. So it gets into it. Put some screws under it or at least we'll put it together. It's a hex screw on the top, so I'm going to remove that. Now it's removed. Got some torques in there, so I remove those as well. I don't think they're so large. Yes, yeah, so I'm short. Need to remove them. Let's see what for surprise we get inside this. shielding going on here. That's a lot of shielding. Yes, there's lots of slip screws on the top. So I'll remove all of them. Let's see what for surprise we get. Eight screws on this thing together. it up and see what you see inside. I forget this for a second. Oh, 
That's a lot of wires. Holy shit. I just thought it would be just like 10 wires in that. Look at that. That's a lot. It would be some electronics in here, but I don't think there's so much electronics. I need to peel this off somehow. And here we go. We got it open from the shield in here. And that's a massive amount of wires. There are a lot. See how many wires are in here. I just want to focus. It's like so. Look at that. That's a lot. What's happening inside that one? Look at that. We're going into some ICs here. I see there's a lot of inductors and a lot of inductors on that side as well. Oh, made in 2009, so not so old. Yes, look at that massive amount of wire. I wonder if I can get this thing open. I don't think so. I think it's completely glued together. There were not so much useful stuff in this. Not even the wire, because what should I do with all of these thin wires? And there are absolutely a ton of them inside that wire. Yes, there's another board on the bottom here. And there are more inductors in there. Look at that, there are more inductors. They couldn't put, put put all the inductors on one board, so they actually needed to use two boards. Uh, double sided. And the other board is just the connector. So, now I know why they use a lot of connectors, uh, connections. I just thought there were just 10 wires in that. But absolutely 200 and around 200 wires inside that one. Thank you. 